Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and I love the website Statista. Statista is a site that comes up with a new chart every day or two. And I love seeing what they're tracking. They track everything from politics to media to finances to uh, manufacturing to people's attitudes. And sometimes they actually survey people. They don't just make the charts, but they survey people. And recently, Statista asked a little over 2,100 people uh, this question. Which of the following media services have you used in the past 12 months? And the answer, pretty much forever, at least since the late 50s, early 60s, has been television. Broadcast television, cable, satellite, number one. Well, as of today, and probably as of the last uh, year or so, I mean, I don't know when they did this survey. It was recently, so it could have been anywhere from, you know, a week or two ago to six months. But the results have dropped television out of first place. That was the number one consumed media source forever. It survived the Napster and, and uh, you know, piracy days of music, and that was really high consumption. Um, and it's now dropped down out of first place. So what is in first place? Number one is digital video. This stuff, YouTube. Uh, Vimeo, uh, you name it, any kind of streaming, downloading, video. That's number one. 89% of people surveyed said they have consumed that in the last 12 months. Number two is digital music. So digital video is number one, digital music is number two. And again, this is as opposed to hard copy, like uh, instead of CDs or uh, vinyl, which I would love to see the numbers on vinyl because vinyl's been having this wonderful renaissance after being like pretty much declared dead. Uh, and as a former club DJ, I love it. Okay, so digital music, 86%. Then TV, broadcast, cable, satellite, 81%. So digital video, 89%. Digital music, 86%. And TV, 81%. Then comes radio. 71% of the people surveyed said they'd used radio in the last 12 months. And then both video and music, hard copy. So getting a DVD or a Blu-ray or something. I mean, there certainly hasn't been the same uh, resurgence of video discs that I'm aware of. I had both formats of video discs back in the 80s, man. I was like such a nerd and boy, did it not get me dates. Not at all. Uh, so 51% of people said uh, a video hard copy, 71% of radio, 51% video hard copy. And then the next one in line is, is music hard copy. So CDs, albums, vinyl, etc. 37%. So now we're down to fairly low numbers. But brand new on the survey, not being mentioned before, are two new entries that I think we should take a moment and simply be proud of because you and I helped bring these into the idea of being an often used category. At one point in time, they were both kind of weird, odd, not really mainstream, you know, geeks knew about them and, and some people knew about them, but I, so they don't have as much usage as some of the big boys and some of the big uh, categories, but they are on the chart and they are growing faster than all of the other categories. And those last two categories are podcasting at 31%, so it's just behind music hard copy, and audiobooks, 22%. So 31% of people said they've, they've listened to podcasts in the last 12 months. 22% said they've listened to audiobooks. Can you imagine the kind of growth that both of those can have in the future? This is really exciting stuff. I'm really excited about this because, you know, when you think about how things have changed in our lifetime, and I don't know how old you are, but if you're understanding this video, you're probably an adult or an older uh, teen. And so you've seen these changes that have happened 
to the way the world consumes media over the last couple of decades. It's been really revolutionary. It's been as revolutionary as the phonograph being invented, the telegraph being invented, radio, television being invented. Uh, it's, it's, it's brand new. It's so cool. And there has never been a better time in history to create the media that has been consumed and is being consumed. And again, podcasting, you don't need anybody's, you know, permission. And audiobooks, you can write your own books, you can publish them, you can make your own audiobooks. It's amazing how much easier, how much less friction there is in doing this sort of thing, in creating this content. And then look at what happens. People actually are consuming it more and more and more. So I'm going to keep an eye on these numbers. And I, I wonder what you think of all this. And I wonder if this fits with you when you look at your pattern of media consumption. Does this kind of fall in line? Are you watching streaming video more often than anything else? Are you listening to radio? Are you listening to podcasts and audiobooks? Let me know what your categories are. Your most listened to categories. And then when you listen to this going, what? A buying a CD? I didn't even know they still sold CDs. Yeah. So leave me a comment below, especially if you're on VOtogogo.com. I would love to... Uh, hear what the deal is. And then also, um, if you want to sign up for my newsletter, you'll get notice when these videos come out. You'll also get notice when I have a new blog post that gives you some new information to make your performance career fantastic or at least better. And if you'd like to see the latest episode I've done of these one-a-day videos, these videos that we're doing every single day for the year, uh, go ahead, click on that frame, and YouTube will then play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow.